Hello subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenote here. In this video, we are gonna continue our discussion of the super keyword with constructors. In my previous video, we already delved into this topic and we saw what can be done with constructors and the super keyword and what is the default behavior. Here, let's dig a little more deeper, try to find out how things work with the constructors. So I have a simple class over here in NetBeans, there's nothing great, just a class called main Java with a main method. And there's a class A and a class B, which is actually a subclass of A. Then there's an integer variable with A and B over here. And there's the constructor, which is the default constructor for class A and B both. And inside that, there's just one simple print statement that says inside A, inside B. And inside my main method, I have created an object of class B by saying B obj is new B. So at this point, if I run this by saying shift F6 in that beans, it's gonna run both of them. What what is gonna happen is new B is gonna call this constructor, which is public B. Now this constructor knows how to initialize this variable, that is integer B. However, it doesn't know how to initialize this variable, which is integer A, derived from class A as part of inheritance, right? So what it does, it, it calls this constructor public A, which knows how to initialize this variable integer A. So public A runs, that is this constructor runs completely. You see the statement here. And then constructor B runs its own statements, which is over here by saying inside B's constructor. That is why the super class constructor is called first. Now let's take a look at what happens if we make our own constructors here. I'm gonna say public A. This time it will take a single parameter by saying integer number. And then I'm gonna say integer A equals to number. Same way, I wanna have another constructor here, which is gonna be public B. Now this has to take two arguments, one for integer A, I'm gonna say number one, and one for integer B, which is say number two. So here, I could simply say integer A equals to number one, and integer B equals to number two. However, there is a small little problem with that. Because you see, here in the super class, you are saying integer A equals to number. What if it was something like this, two into number? Let's say you wanna change this. So here, again, you'll have to go to the bottom and make sure that it is initialized the same way because otherwise, what will happen is integer A, if I remove this statement over here, integer A for the super class A will have two times the value of number, but the same integer A through a subclass will have equals to number and that is not in sync, right? So what we do is we call the super class constructor for doing that. In other words, what we wanna do is we wanna call this constructor that does the work of initializing integer a equals to two times number. So we simply say super here, and as you notice, you have a bracket parentheses opening up, we pass number one over here. So what this means is, it means call the super class constructor, pass this number one to this. So you go here, number one is passed over here, integer a becomes two into number one. And then you run this statement, which is integer b is number two. So let's just print both of them and try to figure out exactly if this is working the way I said or not. So system.r.println and you say number one. So at this point I have two print statements here that are printing the value of integer a and integer b. Now let me also put another print statement here to show you guys that this is getting called. So I'll just remove this last statement. I'm gonna say inside super class constructor. So you go to the main now, you pass these two variables, let's say five comma 10 as two numbers. So you run this by saying control s shift f6 in net beans as you notice as soon as you say new b 5 comma 10 this constructor is called right because it matches 5 over here 10 over here then it calls super number one which means this constructor is called over here which takes one argument and then this statement runs here and you will see that it says sincere in ace constructor which takes one argument then integer a becomes two times number that is two times five right therefore integer a becomes 10 and then it goes down here, that, that is printed right here, integer a is 10 and integer b is 10. So this is how the super keyword can be used. Now let me show you something else as well. If you go to the super class a now, you remove the default constructor completely. So at this point, there is an error inside b. You see the default behavior of a default constructor is to always call the default constructor of the super class, which means b will try to call the default constructor of class A regardless of what is there. However, this time A has no default constructor. 
and hence there's a problem it says constructor a blah 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 found no arguments so in this case what you're supposed to do is you're gonna call super here and you're gonna say something like zero which means you call this constructor and you give some default value to our integer a through our default constructor so again at this point what will happen is super zero we'll call this statement here integer number will be zero integer a will be two times zero therefore in class b integer a is two times zero which is zero and integer b is 20 this is how things work so i hope you guys have understood something about how super class constructors work and what happens when there is no default constructor for the super class and this is why some people keep asking me about uh, why there is an error in android in certain places it's because you have to call the super class constructor using the super keyword because there is no default constructor inside the super class if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day